1 Eastern finally got around to reporting this escape to the sheriff's office. Detective Roger Knight heard about it on the radio. The veteran deputy was alarmed that Paul would be allowed at the fairgrounds, but even more concerned about Paul's sudden and violent behavior. And I just looked at the radio and said, you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Detective Roger Knight knows firsthand about Paul's violent nature. Back in 1990, after Knight caught Paul during his first escape from Eastern, Paul attacked Knight as he booked him into the Spokane County Jail. Even when he grabbed me, I still thought I had some control over him. I thought I'd, I'd gotten a hold of his head or under his, his neck, and I saw the lights, the fluorescent lights going over past, and I thought, that's not a good sign. Paul, a wrestler at North Idaho College, then power slammed Knight into the jail's concrete floor, knocking the deputy unconscious. On Sunday, some 19 years later, Detective Knight was part of a three-man detail looking for Paul in a remote canyon the killer had hunted as a teen. We knew that he'd stopped in the Pasco area and he'd bought some candy bars. He had the wrappers. He had a survival blanket. Uh, he had a manual on how to survive in the outdoors. He had uh, cigarette lighters. However, Paul had never been able to find any water. And as Knight and two other deputies drove through the area in an unmarked van, Paul walked out of the trees. And as we get closer, he turns a little bit and we can see the neck of the guitar swing out. And he's got a guitar. What's the odds? And he's carrying a sleeping bag. And we all said, that's him. And we're slammed on the brakes. We all jump out of the vehicle and kind of surrounded him. And, and he, ju he just gave up. He offered no resistance. He was like glad to see us. While Paul appeared to be relieved that his run from the law was over, he did not recognize Knight, the deputy whose shoulder he had fractured almost 20 years ago. Like the first time Knight took him into custody, the detective's opinion of Paul hasn't changed. My personal feeling is he needs to be at Eastern State Hospital where he is safe, where he can get treatment. You know. That's my personal thoughts about it. Now, Paul has apparently been planning this escape for several months, grooming that friend who gave him that ride down south with information like that his treatment at Eastern was over and he had finally won his freedom. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.